Hey guys, Coach Callie here. I am the founder of Team Strength United. And so I am sharing with you guys each day, each chapter I read um, of the book, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Um, so yeah, so this morning I got up before church and I was able to complete chapter three and got home and wanted to share this with you since that is something that I committed to and such it was it was a longer chapter than normal but for good reason there is so much quality of knowledge in it um things were pointed out to me left and right i know one thing for sure i'm tired of living a life of mediocrity like i'm so over it i'm tired of letting somebody else's actions hold me back from you know being the best I can be. Um, this can be in stewardship, volunteering, um, just quality time. So that was a huge ringer for me. Um, another one was spending time with people who challenge you to be the best you. Um, if you're choosing to spend time with people who bring you down or um, just don't really do anything for you to better yourself, to reach your goals, then you know, walk the other way. You don't have to be rude about it. You know, don't be mean. That's not what this is telling you to be. Um, but just, you know, keep striving to put yourself around people that are going to bring you up and add to you rather than tear you down and take from you. Okay. And uh, definitely people that question, that make you question why you're doing what you're doing. Like that, that was a ringer too. If you know you have goals and you, you are striving to live your best life and somebody judges you for that, well, number one, they're going to judge you because you're judging me right now for doing this and that's fine. And I'm judging you because I'm saying that you're judging me. And I know we shouldn't judge at all. Like we're not supposed to, but that's kind of a, a genetic thing, a DNA code to us. It happens. It's what we do. You know, when people say, do you typically look at people's smile first or their eyes first? Well, when you do that, if you're an eye person and you look right at their eyes, you're right away, you know, casting a judgment on them, whether it's good or bad, okay? Um, but if you are around somebody, if you have a choice to be around somebody who constantly judges you and what you're doing and they have nothing good to say about it, peace out. Like, walk the other way. Don't be rude about it. Don't be mean. Handle it like you would want to be treated you know if you're not doing something for somebody else and they turn around and say get the heck out of my life i don't want to be around you anymore that's not how you want to be treated is it no just at this moment in time you know i choose not to be around you and you don't have to say it like you don't have to like put it out there for the world to know you know a lot of good things are made in quietness you know you don't have to announce it to the world which brings me to the next part of this chapter accountability big piece okay so as kids we uh need it we eat it we strive for it and then as soon as we turn 18 he points us out we gobble up the most um how would you say freedom that we've ever been able to eat before in our life and then we hang on to that freedom but then sooner or later, when it comes time for us to really buckle down and start building our dreams and living our best life, that accountability piece comes back in. Um, I know for me personally, accountability helped me reach huge goals in just the last year. Uh, two years ago, it helped me reach a huge health and fitness goal. You know, if I didn't have somebody to, uh, hey, I totally did my workout today and didn't want to, I... I would have never reached the level that I'm at or the career that I'm doing right now. So accountability is huge. So one thing for sure, um, I will continue believing in me and I will continue to put pe myself around people that believe in me as well as admire me, but also look for people like that too, like that admire themselves and believe in themselves too. That's that's power right there guys so if you're looking to get out of a funk if you feel like you are so overwhelmed and you don't have time to do anything in your life and you're so tired 
of feeling unappreciated, unworthy, you're tired of feeling the same way every morning you wake up, here's an opportunity. Do something different. Wake up one hour earlier. One hour earlier, that's all. And I highly recommend going out and getting this book, or there's other great books out there, but this is the purpose for my videos. Getting this video, or excuse me, getting this book and reading and applying what Hal suggests in this book to do. It will start a spark in you that burnt out because instead of managing you and managing your goals and your visions and your success, you started to manage all the crap that came along in your life. So now you have to make time to feel bad and to feel sad and to feel crappy and to feel overwhelmed versus making time for you to be successful in your day. Don't you want to wake up in the morning and be happy and be thankful, have an attitude of gratitude? Forgetting the chance to open your eyes another day. Forgetting a chance to reach your goals. One day closer to reaching your goals. For those of you that are busy, you already know what you're up against. Okay, so some of you work 40 plus hours a week. Okay, check. You know you're up against that. Okay, some of you um, work from home and you manage the home as a caregiver. You also do several little businesses outside your house you know that you're up against that, okay? Now quit living in the struggle of that and start to find the solution. And I'm telling you, you may not wanna get up. You may not be a morning person, great. You can try to do this any other time of the day and you're gonna find that morning is gonna be the best time for you, okay? So day three of my Miracle Morning book with Hal El Elrod, excuse me, and just sharing with you some tidbits and personally how I am soaking this in. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of, you know, another good point. I'm tired of letting my past dictate my future. Are you tired of that? It's a hard question, and you know what? It very well may stir up some emotions in you that you're not trying to stir up. You may find tears start to well up in your eyes. But if you feel that emotionally connected to that question, that's a ringer. That is a dead sign saying no more. No more of letting your past dictate your future success. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday and it is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm not wearing orange because I'm going for the Broncos. I just thought it looked really cute. You know, I got my Chuck Taylors on and whatevs, but <laughs> everybody's like, oh, you're going for the Broncos. No. <laughs> Sorry, my team wasn't in it. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that you're finding value to these videos and if you're not, look for it in somewhere else okay find what feeds you for me it's daily devotion spending time with god and focusing on who god created me to be stewardship what gift did god give me to give you okay and you're only going to do that if you start doing something different all right guys well have a wonderful day and god bless